executions this week during, the, during well, I guess it's kind of a bye week. But uh, so what do you see from that end? What are you guys trying to improve on specifically offensively? Um, just chemistry. Um, we kind of had a lack of it a little bit, but um, we're getting it back together, so that's all that matters right now. Talk about the lack of chemistry, but it's sort of to be expected with so many new pieces and guys that are fitting in for the first time. Yeah, of course. It's a work, it's a work in progress. Um, so many new faces, so many new attitudes. Um, it's just new everything, so it just takes time. When you look at the last couple of games, you've won them, but they've been rock fights. But as long as you win, it, it doesn't matter. As long, you know, your defense is still going to pack, you know, pick you guys up, correct? And so I know the offense may not be there all the time, but as long as your defense carries, then everything is okay. Yeah, defense always got to be there. Defense is the only thing that travels. Um, coach always tells us that. And um, we just got to figure a way to just bring home the W, and that's all that matters. In the last uh, game against USF, Matt, I, we go talk about Matt Milan. At the time, the guys went down by five. And Matt said, it's okay, we're good. And then you, you come around the timeout, you drop a play for him, and he gives up a, off a screen, it's a three. What's the type of leadership that maybe you've seen from Matt this year? Um, Matt's one of, our, one of our biggest leaders on the team. Um, vocally and just showing by example, he's always in the gym. So even though he was in a slump early in the season, we knew he was going to shoot his way out of it. So we believe in him. And Days on gets <clears throat> the honorable mention on the AAC. He's done great. He obviously had a huge game at Tulane. Uh, just how do you see him maybe improve his last two games after kind of a slump the few games before that? Um, yeah, of course, he improved a lot. I mean, he just he just hit a wall, though. I mean, the honor roll was long overdue. I, I feel like he's been playing great this whole year. He's been carrying us, and he's been a great leader on the floor. So. You know what going into Wichita State's leg. You guys went there last year, and, I mean, it was really one of the best teams this university has ever had, and it was still a tough game, and, and you guys came out on the short end of that one. How difficult is it to play in that building? Um, it's real hard. I mean, the crowd is crazy. The crowd is really loud. You can barely hear yourself. You can barely hear the calls coach makes, so we just got to stay focused when it's getting loud and just lock in. When you think of the best uh, uh, road environments as far as, like, fans and, and activity, there's probably Memphis and Wichita State. Do you think there is a clear... Uh, uh, toughest road environment in this conference? Um, probably, it's probably between Houston and Wichita to me. Um, it's the two hard places to play in, and it's two great teams, and they're well coached, so it's just they're just lucky to have all that. Do you feel like you can carry, even though it's been a week, that there's momentum that you guys have sort of started to gain you can carry over even though you haven't played in the week? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, like um, Brandon said, I feel like we got our groove back, so we look good, we're real confident, and we just got to go out there and execute. Alright, yes sir. Appreciate y'all.